Okay, ladies and gentlemen, people have to understand what is going on in our world. Our world is changing. And I'm not talking for the better good, but for the worse. Because there's high-ranking globalists that are laying the groundwork that they've been creating for years. A new world order, a one-world government, a world organization, a global community. That's why I always tell people to please do their research, okay, guys? Because this is well documented. They have a, a document called the Earth Charter. You guys can read it. It lays it all out. We, we're all humanity. We're all living on the same Earth. We all need to come together. And by the way, we're all living on the Earth. So, so we're, we're one family. So why don't we all come together in peace and justice for global unity. Justice and peace for all. They always try to make it all sound good for the security. But the real thing that these people want is control and power. That's why they don't want nation states. They're going to be replacing nation states with a global government. And they want total control, ladies and gentlemen. I saw so many things, okay? People, that's why I say do your research, okay, if you don't believe these things. But many of you out there, I know you guys are aware of what's going on, and this is the truth, this is happening. What these uh, scumbags and dirtbags want is a surveillance society. Okay, that's why there's a push on the globe for every nation to have a citizen's numbered with national ID cards. They want to totally eliminate cash altogether. No more cash. Cash, cash was here, but it did not come to stay. Cash is going to be a thing of the past, and very soon people that just use cash are going to be labeled as criminals. But there, there's not going to be any more cash. But there's going to come a time till they get it all out of the uh, out of the market. Everybody's going to be carrying around cards. Like I said, they're pushing on the globe for a biometric ID card for everybody to have. But ladies and gentlemen, it seems like, you see what they're doing? You have to connect all the dots together. They want to track and control society. And the government gets more control and more power in a cashless society. It gives them more power and more control over its uh, people. So they want to have everybody tracked and monitored. <coughs> <clears throat> because with this biometric ID card that they're pushing upon the citizens of the globe, they're going to know your every move. Because for your uh, ability to buy and sell and your transactions to, to, to the bank and everything, it's all going to be linked into your body, a fingerprint, uh, an eye scan, or a, a facial uh, imagery of your face. This is what they're doing, people. You see, they're getting people conditioned. And the FBI said that Biometrics is the next generation identification. But uh, I want to read this to you guys. Like they're trying to say that this thing that I'm about to show you guys. So whoever's listening to this, if you're from Canada, may you fight against this because they're trying to say they came up with a new technology. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I wonder where they're getting all this money from. And yeah, they say the economy is not well. And yeah, they're spending money. They're spending your tax dollars. To enslave you. This is the truth. This is total enslavement, people. A cashless society is to enslave its people. So I want to read this to you guys, and uh, I just want to read it to you guys. It seems like every day there's always some. It's just going to get worse. This, this is just the tip of the iceberg, people. All this technology is leading up to the mark of the beast. Okay? Now I want to read this to you. This is incredible. This is incredible. This is from Canada. Okay? Right here in Canada. And they always show it in the movies. They show it on, uh, they made a movie and they even have a book about it. Brave New World. This is a Brave New World coming in. Uh, Enemy of the State with Will Smith. The Militia Man. The book that they wrote in 1984 by George Orwell. Well, this is worse than 1984, people, of what's going on. And there's so many other things that they wrote. They wrote... A book called Hope and Tragedy, where they're, where they're shaping the world, where they're bringing us, and so on and so on. They want a total control, financial control. That's why everybody's going into the biometrics. And once you have that biometric ID card, your whole entire life is open to the government. They can do whatever they want with you. They can tell you you cannot eat that type of food. It's not good for you. And plus, they want you to eat their food. Total control. Dictate how you can live your life. But anyways, I want to read this to you guys and uh, explain it. Well, it's total control. That's all that it's about. Look at this right here. Okay, I want to read it. This is in Canada, people. 
Okay. Yeah. Heartbeat ID. So a heartbeat ID could be a key to computer security. You see, it's always about security, but it's not. It's a bunch of bull. Actually, I'm going to put this video below my description so you guys can see it for yourself, all right? I'm going to put this below my description. Okay. It's not that long anyways, so I just want to read it to you. So this is what it says. A Canadian company is developing a wristband that could make electronic passwords, pins, and even bank cards obsolete, which means no more. Obsolete. By reading the wearer's heartbeat to determine an ID. Toronto company B-I-O-N-Y-M Boney, I don't know how the guy's name is I don't know how to spell it. I don't know how to read his name says its wristband senator create a unique a unique yeah, to enslave us a unique penman that transmits that information to a computer or other devices if someone else puts it on the wristband it doesn't work I wonder why so they know that you are the person hmm it's not significant. It said, okay, Ben says, it's more secure than fingerprints, face, or iris scans. Well, none of them are secure. This is a bunch of bull people. This is what they're throwing upon the society. You can pre-order, you can, okay, you can pre-order one for $80, and it's expected to hit the market next spring. To watch Aaron's full report, check the video. This is dead wrong, people. This is totally, total control. This is all that it is. Okay, I want to try to find something else now. What's it called? Yeah, so, M-A-R-K. This is just crazy, people. This is really insanity. Because <clears throat> they came up with, uh... Well, they already had it. They're just making more technologies. Tattoo ink, plastic skin that can monitor your heartbeat all of that stuff. Now they have this thing called SoMark. It's about, uh, here, let me read it. SoMark is a leader in lab animal, I guess it says animal identification providing advanced solutions that pr protect the agents of the chair of custom or solution devices, new laws of accuracy, and promoting animal and data where with war we affair the result is better since yeah I want to try to find okay wait I want to try to find it yeah, they have a tattoo basically that they, they developed that uh, yeah the most advanced automatic system delivered premium veil ID for mouses but it's not about that at all people that know what's going on here they're gonna know right away what this is. It has nothing to do with that. Yes, they're training it on the animals as they're guinea pigs. Then it's going to go to the human beings. Just like what they said with the... Uh, okay, let me get into this. Just like with these, these criminals, these thugs that are working in the government, said, oh, if your dog goes missing, you can, you can uh, find it if we put a chip in the dog. But guess who they're talking about putting chips in next? Human beings. What does that tell you? The dogs are just an experiment. So they can go put it into the human being. They already have the technology out. So many people are willingly accepting RFID chips, which stands for radio frequency identification. Okay? Like, they're advertising it everywhere. Like, it's a good thing to have. Like this, uh, in, in one of the the series of uh, Law and Order. <clears throat> there was a detective that went to the house and then uh, they were showing the person the house upstairs and stuff. So one of the detectives stayed with the little girl and said, what did you say in the letter? He said, they put something in you. You tell us it's what they're doing to us. We'll take you away. She said, I can't talk. She can hear me. She's like, no, she can't hear you. She's upstairs or whatever they said. So they said, no matter where I go, they will find me. I am trapped. Because she has a microchip in her uh, shoulder. And after they found out, why did they put a chip in her? 
And the guy's like, well, the obvious question is, is to protect her, to save her life. Like, see, it's, see how they always try to promote it and throw it on to the society that it is a good thing, but it's not. They want everybody chipped, people. People need to wake up to reality that this is where we are headed. So they said, like, say if you go unconscious, right? Like, nobody has a wallet or nothing, but yet if they would have had that chip implanted in them, they would have been able to, uh, to identify them right away and know what type of medication to give them. This is what they're throwing on the people. They already have alien technology. Check it out, people. Alien technology. Digital Angel. The Verichip Corporation that was created after 9-11. Isn't that significant? They create a crisis. They offer a solution. More security. More giving up of our rights. Taking away our liberties. And so on. They want everybody tracked and monitored. So, like I said before, with this, with this global biometric ID card that they're throwing upon the whole entire world, there's going to come a time when it's going gonna, it's gonna to be moved from the card onto the individual itself. And they actually have uh, about microchips I'm talking about. Because I, I got the documents, people. Okay? You guys can check it up online as well. NWO plans exposed 1969. They said, first, we're going to start off with a single card. Then they said, the single card can be lost or stolen or blah, 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 whatever. And what we replace the single card will be the implant. Will be the implant. And it's amazing, people. They actually have a biometric microchip. Once it's in you, you cannot take it out. Because the chip is running off of the body. The, the chip is running off of the blood in the person's body. The chip is alive because of the blood that is running in it. So once you remove that chip, and the chip dies, you will also die with the chip, because it's running off the, the body. This is where we are headed. Like another episode on uh, Law and Order. They found a, a body on, on, the, on the crime scene, and they found a chip inside of her. They found a chip inside of her, people. So the person's like, well, for them, the person that put the chip in that person had to have done it while that person was unconscious. So when they, they went to see the guy, why did you put a chip in your wife? Like, oh, she was cheating on me. And then the guy's like, well, this is the way of the future. Within 15 years from now, everybody's going to have a chip in them. Hmm. How significant is that? And that's the truth. Everybody is going to have a chip or a digital enhanced mark, a digital tattoo implanted on them. Like, they're already working with all the stuff, digital ink that can be implanted on a person and everything. Total control. This is what people need to realize. It's, it's this significant that the Bible foretold all of this thousands of years ago and yet it's happening in our generation right now. This is the final generation that Christ is coming in. And plus they said, uh, yeah, the chip that was in the person was a vera chip. What's a vera chip? To verify the person. Like all this stuff. This is why this is what's going on, people. People that don't believe this, please do your research because this is what's coming down the line. Because so many people in high tech security already have microchips in them, and they said uh, very soon your boss is going to be getting under your skin. In certain places you're going to have to have a microchip. Even some nurses got fired from their job because they wouldn't take a, a vera chip. They wouldn't take a microchip in them. Total control. This is what they're bringing in. Okay. This is what they're bringing in. I wish I could say more, but time is running out. Let me see if I... No, I, I can't say it. Maybe I'll say it on my other video that I'm going to make. Okay, I'll say it on my other video because i got something else to say about total surveillance. Tracking, linking, scanning, screening, you name it. And yet people... That's why people need to know what's going on here. But yeah, people love the cell phones. They love all this stuff. And you know, the tracking device, surveilling them, linking them spying on them. And yet the young generation is following right in with the New World Order's plan. This is so sad, but this is the truth, and this is all I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Please do your research. This is what's happening. Their age of globalization has arrived. The dawning of their New World Order has come. And this is what's going on. One world government that the Bible prophesied so many years ago is here. And this is all i got to say, and uh, God bless you all. And for my brothers and sisters in Christ, be ready. Jesus is indeed coming very soon. And God bless you all.